Hello everyone, I'm so excited to be here with you. I have some amazing DIYs for you, so let's get started. So for this DIY, we're going to take this board that I thrifted very recently. And when I saw it, I just knew it had to be a farmhouse style decor. So I am going to, after I cleaned it very well, I am going to tape both the white side as well as the cork side. That way I can paint. I'm going to give everything three coats of rust -Oleum chalk paint and the linen white. And once it's dry, of course, we're going to remove the tape. And then what we're going to um, start doing is we are going to start distressing it. Everything today is going to have a farmhouse style uh, and it's going to be a little bit of distress. But you certainly don't have to if distressed furniture or decor is not your style. You can certainly leave it as is. But I do like it to have a little bit of distress when I'm going for a farmhouse style. So I'm going to use one of these sanding blocks and I am going to sand basically just the edges. This is just to give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit more character. Um, if you want a little bit of a heavier distress, you just have to distress a little heavier in other areas as well. And then I use my Cricut to cut this little kind of like a menu it's like a weekly menu i figured today's diys are going to be all that you can possibly use in the kitchen so now with this decal i did just messed up the um, measurements and i made it a little bit too long so you're going to see me here trying to uh, figure out how to fix it and i think i did a pretty good job but now is it perfect absolutely not but I think I was able to salvage it because I did not want to cut this decal again. So here's my head in the way. But I wanted to show you because sometimes, you know, if you are doing DIYs, just know that it's not going to be perfect. You are going to mess up. Just try to fix it. And uh, frustrations, you know, we can let frustration get in our way a lot of times. So just uh, find a way to fix it. If not, just do it again. It is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it kind of where the excess is and then I'm just going to place it right on top. And like I said, it worked out pretty well. And then using my Cricut once again, I did cut out these flowers that I thought were really cute and I'm just going to place them on the top. At first I thought I was going to do something different with those holes that I left there, but then I decided to add these little hooks and they were wide enough to cover the holes, so I was really excited. I'm going to place one in each side. And once I'm done screwing this one in, guys, we are done. I think this is one of my favorites today. It turned out so adorable, so beautiful. And what a perfect little addition for any kitchen where you can place either notes, grocery lists, and then your weekly menu. I think it's so adorable. Friends, I am so excited to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Kathy from Kathy's Crafty Creations. Her channel is fairly new, but it is filled with tons of inspiration for you. So check it out. I do have it linked down in the description box. She is also doing a $40 gift card giveaway, so you don't want to miss that. Show her some love and tell her that I sent you. All right, for this next DIY, I am going to take this wooden spoon that I also thrifted very recently. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I'm going to give it two coats of rust -Oleum chalk paint and the linen white. And I am also going to paint the back of it. 
once it is fully dry, I am also going to be distressing it. Once again, you do not have to do this if that look is not for you, but I am going to go with a farmhouse style here. So I'm just going to sand down the edges and it'll make all those angles pop, which I really love the way they, they look like that. Once I am done sanding, I am going to add a little ribbon on the top to hang it from. And then I'm going to create a little bundle of florals using a combination of Dollar Tree and Amazon flowers. And I'm just going to tie it around the neck of the spoon. And then it'll be it for this one, guys. So we are done with this spoon guys and this one oh, again I think they're all my favorites today but I just love the simplicity of it. I just love how it can go on a corner on a countertop or it can be hung and I think it's just stunning. All right, guys, so once again, I want to remind you that I do have a very active Instagram page where I post daily, sometimes multiple times a day. I post DIYs and behind the scene things, hauls that I do. I show you when I go and get my scrap wood at the hardware store. So if you have not connected with me there yet, I ask that you do so. I do have the link down in the description box. All right, for this next DIY, we're going to take this wooden cutting board. It seems to be like a little decorative one. I don't think it was strong enough to be a real cutting board. So again, we're just going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk band and the linen white. Similar to the spoon, I am going to also be distressing it. I'm going to wipe it really well. Anytime you're going to use a decal after you have sanded, I like to wipe it really well to make sure there's no dust from the sanding because the decal will not stick. So again, using my Cricut, I cut out the phrase keys to the barn. I don't have a barn, <laughs> but I'd like a barn, you know, for my, uh, maybe a studio one day, but nonetheless i just want this to be a little key hanging area we do not have one in our kitchen so i thought this would be really cute so we can hang our keys so i'm going to use two of those black hooks i and i do have these hooks in my amazon store guys i do have a lot of the supplies and paints and florals that i use on my amazon store it is linked down below if you want to take a look so once i have the cooks the cooks the hooks all um screwed in i'm going to take a just these little florals green and white from Dollar Tree and once again I'm going to make a little bundle and I'm going to tie it on the neck of the cutting board and I'm going to tilt it to one side just so that you can still see the word keys but it still has that little cute little florals on top and once this is done guys it's we are done again again such a beautiful simple farmhouse decor that can be used anywhere in the home and my house is going to go in the kitchen but it could really truly be used anywhere in the home For this next DIY, I'm going to take this rolling pin that I thrifted very recently as well, and I am going to transfer this floral decal onto it. This is a Prima Marketing 
um, decal I bought a huge roll and I still have a ton left I used it in several DIYs and even a furniture flip that I did and I still have some leftover so the way this works is just basically rubs on and then I'm going to show you the entire process but I'm going to speed it up here for you and um, all you do is basically is you um, rub on and then you pull you rub and you pull very carefully and you're going to start seeing when it attaches because it starts to kind of get opaque on you and then you're going to do that all the way through the um, decal now the key is to start um, at one corner and make your way up now in this one I kind of started in the middle because it was round and then I changed my mind and then I went back and I started um, on one of the edges and then I just went all the way around until the entire decal was attached Once it was all attached, I am going to take this dry towel and I'm just going to softly just rub just to make sure everything is um, on as it needs to. And some of them came off and I was okay with it. Again, I'm going with a distressed look, which is why I'm also going to be standing very, very lightly. I want this uh, decal to look like it's been on this rolling pin for years and years. So obviously this is not going to be used for food. This is now going to be a decorative rolling pin. Um, but uh, yeah, so now I'm going to paint the handles black using Waverly chalk paint and the ink and then I am going to distress them again using my sanding block and after that we are done guys this one turned out so beautiful I don't think I'm going to keep this one it doesn't go with my decor in my kitchen but I am going to sell it but boy did it turn out beautiful All right, guys, for this next DIY, I'm going to take this little mason jar. It's kind of like a like a spaghetti sauce jar more than a mason jar but it has the size of a mason jar so i cut off pieces of tissue paper this is just tissue paper that you would use in gifts and then i'm going to take some mod podge and i am going to start brushing it on the jar and then i'm going to start applying the tissue paper and there's no right or wrong way this is actually really fun to do you're just going to start placing it on and removing any excess and basically you're going to apply mod podge then tissue and then you're going to flatten the tissue out with more Mod Podge and again there's no right or wrong way the more folds and the more wrinkles it has the better the more character and the more um, texture this jar is going to have so I'm going to show you here I've done this I did this I think it was last fall on a pumpkin and then I spray painted it black and it turned out awesome so I thought this technique would be really cute on this jar I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to paint it white So as you can see, I did speed it up a little bit, but all you do is basically is place the tissue paper after you have applied some Mod Podge and then you start flattening it out with more 
uh, Mod Podge. That way everything is covered. The more Mod Podge, the better. You just want everything to be nicely attached. And then you just let it dry for a few hours. Now, in my case, I did do it overnight. And um, it was completely, completely dry. But it turned out super cute. And as I mentioned earlier, I am going to paint this on white. So I'm just going to use Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint and the Linen White. And I'm going to give it two coats. I'm going to take this black ribbon that is kind of wavy. I love this ribbon. It's so adorable. It came out of a bundle of um, ribbons that I got at Michael's. So I'm just going to hot glue it on the top of the jar. Now you can still see a little bit of the thread. I'm okay with that. But if you're going to recreate something like this and you don't want to see that, you know, the thread of the jar, just take a different ribbon. I just really like the shape of this one. So I'm just going to wrap it around, hot glue it in place. And I want to make sure that some of the wavy parts do stick up above the rim of the jar. And then once I um, hot glue it, then I'm just going to add some florals from the Dollar Tree and we'll be done with this one, guys. Another beautiful and so simple and kind of fun to play with that tissue and Mod Podge. For this next DIY, I'm going to take this little jar I thrifted very recently. I'm going to remove the cork top and then I'm going to use some goo gone here so that I can remove some of the stickiness that was already on it. Um, it actually had kind of like heart-shaped stickiness, <laughs> so they must have had heart-shaped stickers on it. So the way you apply goo gone, if you've never used it before, you just take a little bit, a little bit goes a long way on a dry rag and you just start rubbing it and it starts coming off pretty easily now this the heart ones was a little stubborn but it did come off in the end and then you want to clean it really really well because it, it's like a little oily so you want to make sure that there's no oils especially if you're going to be painting um, i'm not going to be painting but i still want to make sure there's no oil so i'm just going to clean it with an alcohol wipe and then dry it really really well again if you're going to be painting this is really important but in this case we're just going to be wrapping this little jar i'm going to use some fabric that I got at Walmart. I get these little bundles of fabric at Walmart. They're like $6 and you get five different um, designs and all in the same kind of color scheme. And I think they're really cute and really inexpensive. Perfect for DIYs like this. I'm just going to take the jar and I'm going to cut out a piece of this fabric uh, enough to cover kind of like the bottom portion of it. And then we're going to wrap it around just like you see here. And then the key here is to make sure that any smaller corners that you have, you just tuck them in underneath a larger one. So you see that one smaller? I'm just going to tuck it in and that way it's not going to come out. And I'm going to do that all around. And then I'm going to take some more black ribbon from that bundle I got at Michael's. This is going to be a thinner one, but it's going to have the same similar shape. And then we're just going to wrap it around twice to hold it. And we're going to make a very simple knot. And then I'm going to cut the excess ribbon as well as the excess fabric. Now you can leave the fabric as is. I think it looks pretty cute. But I do want to see a little bit more of that glass jar underneath. So I am going to trim it down just a bit so that we can see the jar a little bit more. And then I'm going to take some peonies that I recently got at Amazon. Again, I got a lot of these florals in, Amazon, in my Amazon store. So check it out in the link down below. Look how beautiful these are in yellow. I've been a little bit obsessed with yellow lately. So I got these recently. And I'm just going to place a couple here. And then we're done with this one. What a beautiful jar. What a beautiful little decor to add to any home decor. It's stunning. Love it. But guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to create your own home DIY decor. If you're visiting for the first time or if you're visiting from Kathy's channel, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family. 
And as always, if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I so appreciate you. I'm going to have a playlist here with tons more of inspiration for you. Check it out, guys. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.